Okay, so I talked a little bit too long in the last video and my software cut me off. So let's go back to what I was talking about at the end of the last video. <laughs> These are the standard forms for linear, quadratic, cubic, quartic, quintic polynomials. And we could keep going. Um, with degree six, it's called a sextic or a hextic. I, I googled it. Either one will work. Um, for seven, it's called a septic, which is kind of a weird word. Um, octic, right? Right. You get it. We we can keep going, and right. You you can see the pattern here. So now let's talk about how to actually graph polynomials. And we're going to start with something really simple. Hopefully. You know, I don't know how I have a hard enough time drawing a straight line on the board. It's really even harder on this laptop. Okay. So we let, let's pretend this is a straight line, right? And I've got a point here at zero, negative one. I've got a point here at two, zero. I have another point here at four, one. And so I have a line. So how do I write this equation for this line, right? We know it's y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. Okay, so what what is the slope? Well, slope... We talk about it being the rise over the run. So how far it goes up and down, how far it rises, and then how far it goes across. So in this case, right, we're going to go up one and over two, up one, over two, up one, over two. So we have a rise of one and a run of two, and that's the slope. Now there's a formula for this too, right? The slope is the difference in the y values. So y2 minus y1 divided by the difference in the x values, x2 minus x1. So if we take two points, let's, let's take these two points, right? This can be my um, x2 y2, and this can be my first point, x1, y1, and I'll just plug them into the formula. So y2 is equal to 1 minus y1 is equal to 0, x2 is equal to 4, x1 here is equal to 2, and I get 1 half. My y-intercept is at 0, negative 1. I take the y-value for the y-intercept. Why does it keep doing those lines? I don't know what I'm doing wrong. And I get for the equation of the line, y equals 1 half x minus 1. And that's my equation of the line. So, we learned a long time ago. Oh, that was not what I meant to do. We learned a long time ago, right? I, when I was in high school, I learned if the donkey has to walk uphill, the slope is positive, right? Slope is positive in this direction. And I learned if the donkey walks downhill, 
right? If it's this direction, the slope is negative, right? That's, that's what we learned in school about lines, right? So let's talk about polynomials. We have something we call the leading coefficient test, which is a lot like what we just talked about with lines. And there's this kind of general statement at the beginning. As x increases or decreases, the graph is also gonna go up or down, unless, right, we have to have a degree greater than zero. That constant function, it doesn't work, but with anything else. So if n is odd, Remember, right, our equation of the line, y equals mx plus b, or y equals ax plus b, right? This has degree equal to one. It's, it's odd, right? If the degree is equal to three, if we have a cubic, right, we'd have an odd degree. Any time n is odd, if the leading coefficient is positive, the donkey's going uphill, just like in a line. If the leading coefficient is negative, the donkey's walking downhill, just like with a line. Now the difference is a cubic moves in that general direction, but it's wigglier. This is a graph of a cubic. This, this is a quintic, and I can tell because the higher the degree, the wigglier it gets, but the general pattern is still the same, right? Just like a line. If that leading coefficient is positive, the donkey walks uphill. If the leading coefficient is negative, the donkey walks downhill. Okay, let's see. How do I clear this off without erasing it? Hmm. <sighs> it never hit the right button. <gasps> Here we go. I make such a terrible mess. I can't ever really get it clean. What? Uh, okay, that's good enough. So what if we have a parabola, <laughs> right? If the leading coefficient is positive, it looks like this, right? If we have a positive leading coefficient, Coefficient. There we go. I have a smiley face. If the leading coefficient is negative, I have a frowny face. Right? We've talked about this before. All right. So, if n is even, like in a parabola, right? In a parabola, we have an x squared term, right? A quadratic. So for any time it's even, the rules are gonna be a lot like they are for a parabola. So if it's concave up, a smiley face, that happens when the leading coefficient is positive. And if it's concave downward, that happens when the leading coefficient is negative, right? So for an even degree, we're gonna have something concave up or concave down. For an odd degree, we're gonna have something that falls left, rises right, or rises left, falls right. So this is odd and this is even.